EIT is actually an initiative from uh, the European Commission and the idea is to have a real innovation institute in Europe which could match innovation institutes in the US and in Asia, like for example MIT. EIT ICT Labs is one of the so-called kicks inside EIT. Currently there are three. So there is, you know, energy, working on energy. There is a climate kick, working on climate. And ICT Labs is the kick working on ICT. The paradox you see in Europe that we have excellent research, we have excellent education system. And at the same time, especially if you look in the ICT domain, we're lagging behind in business generation impact. How can we make this step from producing brilliant people from producing brilliant ideas to really come to having impact in the market or impact on society to really address the societal challenges. The strategy of EIT ICT Labs is actually along these three elements that are key to EIT and that is research, education and business development. And the key differentiator from EIT and EIT ICT Labs is that we seamlessly integrate education, research and business development in order to have innovations. So linking them together, use education to make faster introduction into the market, make sure that research results are produced in such a way that fast take up is possible. That is the key kind of things we do. The five key lines that we are now working on is smart spaces to start with, and that's the one driven from Nokia, from Helsinki, and of course all the other nodes participate in that. And that's about devices that act in a context-aware environment. They know what is going on around them and can smartly act on that. So that's smart spaces. The second action line is about smart energy management, smart energy systems. So it's about energy management in complex energy systems where you have multiple sources that generate energy and multiple sources that consume it. And the other thing is about green ICT. So how do you make sure that ICT does not consume enormous amounts of energy because it's a big energy consumer. Then there is an action line called health and well-being, which addresses actually the whole topic of staying healthy, prevent people from becoming ill because they have bad habits they have a poor lifestyle in terms of health. And then there is an action line on future content and media delivery, which actually is about two things. How do I deliver the right content to the right person at the right place on the terminal that he wants to have it? And the second thing is how in the backbone network do I optimize the traffic so that everybody gets the quality of service that he would expect? And then the final action line we're working on is called smart cities of the futures, digital cities, and that's about providing citizens with a platform for information sharing, for bringing their own information to the table in order to make sure that citizens are very actively involved in the city and also in its further development, decision making, but also information for leisure, what have you. The way we work is that we look for existing opportunities and we use the EIT money to fuel those activities, to work as a catalyst and make sure that they act better. So for example, if you have a research project and you look at, is there enough patents generated from it? We have a so-called patent booster catalyst that makes a landscape that looks where are the opportunities for generating patents out of the research that you are doing and helps people to really write the patents and make sure the applications get through. And the goal of ICT Labs is to make sure that Europe really gets a front position when it comes to innovations in the domain of ICT and applying ICT to societal challenges. So really to secure a forerunner position of Europe in the ICT domain.